Current NRC regulations for industrial radiography as specified in 10 CFR Part 20 and 10 CFR Part 34 require persons performing radiography to keep sufficient calibrated and operable survey meters at each location where industrial radiography is being performed. Instrumentation requirements include having the capability of measuring a range from 2 millirems per hour through 1000 millirems per hour. Each instrument shall be calibrated at intervals not to exceed six months and after servicing except for battery changes. For linear scale instrument calibration, at least two points located approximately one-third and two-thirds of full scale on each scale must be checked. Survey meters must be calibrated so that an accuracy within plus or minus 20 percent of the calibration source dose rate can be demonstrated at each point checked. Records must be maintained of the results of the calibration. It is the intent of this video to demonstrate a procedure for survey instrument calibration. The survey meter selected for this demonstration has a linear scale with three multiplier ranges of 1, 10, and 100 times display scale value. A 104 millicurie cesium-137 source contained in a calibration unit will be used for this demonstration. The calibration unit has three attenuation filters. One filter has an attenuation factor of 0 0.25 and the remaining two attenuation filters have attenuation factors of 0 0.10 each. Simply put, the 0 0.25 filter reduces the beam intensity down to one quarter of its original value. The two 0 0.10 filters are each capable of reducing the beam intensity down to one-tenth of the original dose rate value of the calibration source. All three filters are used in conjunction with one another to provide two different dose rates at each scale selection setting. As an example, let's assume that the calibrator source was emitting a dose rate of 1000 mR per hour at a certain distance. If one 0 0.10 filter were placed in front of the calibrator source, the dose rate would be reduced to 100 mR per hour. Placing the second 0 0.10 filter in front of the source would reduce the dose rate from 100 mR per hour to 10 mR per hour. Each 0 0.10 filter represents a reduction of 9 tenths of the original dose rate of the calibration source. When conducting radiographic operations, all personnel involved in radiographic activities must, as a minimum, wear a pocket dosimeter and a personal dosimeter. In addition, the technician must verify that the survey instrument has adequate batteries before use. To begin the process, the technician must calculate the distance in centimeters at which the actual dose rate from the calibrator source will provide 800 mR per hour from the following equation. In this equation, D is the distance from the calibration source in centimeters. MCI is the source activity in millicuries and MR per hour is the desired dose rate of the calibrator source in millirenkins per hour. The calibrator source is then placed at the calculated distance from the survey instrument. The source is then exposed by pulling the control rod up and the survey meter is checked for a response of 800 MR per hour with the survey meter scale setting set at times 100. Note that if the survey meter response is not within plus or minus 20 percent of the actual dose rate of the calibrator source at any of the scales to be tested, the survey meter must be adjusted and checked again for adequate response. Next, 
the 0.25 attenuation filter is placed in front of the calibrator. This filter reduces the dose rate from 800 mR per hour to one quarter of that or 200 mR per hour. The previous step is again repeated with the 0.1 attenuation filter brought in front of the calibration source. This filter attenuates the beam intensity to one-tenth of the original value. That is, from 800 mR per hour to 80 mR per hour dose rate. Again, the exposure is repeated, this time using the 0.25 attenuation filter and one of the 0.1 filters brought in front of the calibration source. This combination of attenuation filters should reduce the beam intensity down to 20 mR per hour. In this particular step, both 0.1 filters are placed in front of the calibration source. The calibration source is exposed and the reading is observed. The last exposure to the survey instrument is made with all three filters placed in front of the calibration source. The source is once again exposed and the reading is observed. The beam intensity should be reduced to 2 mR per hour. All results must be recorded by the technician on a survey meter calibration form. A label is then applied to the outside case of the survey instrument which verifies calibration date adequacy.